Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 18 business ideas for college students to start on the side. So this is stuff you don't need full-time work to do. You don't have to have a bunch of startup money to invest and you don't have to worry about having you know a lot of experience or skills in any of the areas that you're going to start a business in. So the first thing I would recommend you look at is starting a YouTube channel. So a YouTube channel can cover anything. You can be a comedian, you can do video game uh, playthroughs, you can do review videos, you can do all kinds of different videos. So one resource I would like to point out to you if you're interested in this is a complete guide to building a successful YouTube channel. It's on quicksprout.com and it is one of the best overall guides to just how YouTube works, what fuels it, what kind of people it attracts, and what kind of channels do well, what kind of channels don't do well. There's plenty of examples of how good videos do and how bad videos do, um, how to rank videos, how to get more traffic, how to get more views. So all that stuff is covered in this guide, so I would recommend you check out this guide. If starting a YouTube channel, no matter what kind of channel it is, uh, appeals to you. So the next thing I would recommend is computer repair. Okay, so being a college student, you probably have to use computers all the time. And just from the experience of having to use them, you might know a little bit about how to repair them and how they work really well. Well. A lot of older people don't and even younger people they might not know how to use their computers or how to fix them so if you know a little bit about this stuff your skills are going to really be in demand um, I would recommend you check out an article on entrepreneur.com called starting a PC repair business it kind of shows you kind of some background on it uh, what you can expect to maybe get paid from doing this um, how to hire people things like uh, what your workspace might look like um, all this type of stuff just kinda of what to expect in creating a PC repair business it's a pretty good article on just kind of getting you a little background information on this before you get started and you can find it on entrepreneur.com the next thing is niche websites and niche websites are basically when you create a small website that is dedicated to a very specific small niche and of course a niche is just a group of people that are interested in a very certain topic very specific topic so for instance I've seen some of the greatest marketers start out doing things like selling an ebook to people who are trying to teach their parrot how to talk that is a very small niche very few people would be interested in doing that because number one very few people have parrots number two there's only a certain amount of people who have parrots that will want them to talk so stuff like that is really targeted to a small group of people and what you can do is create little niche sites like that and you can help them with an ebook or something and this allows you to do this by um, just creating a website that's dedicated to nothing but that small niche and you can create one website and sell ads and sell affiliate products and things like that on it or even sell your own ebook or all three maybe or you can build a bunch of them and sell them in all different types of niches so one great resource for this is on smartpassiveincome.com it's called how to build a niche site it has a, one of the best comprehensive um, databases of just nothing but articles on this because this is a guy that makes over 160000 a month and one of the reasons he does this and does it online is because of his niche site success. So he knows how to build niche sites. It's from Pat Flynn at smartpassiveincome.com called how to build a niche site check out this article go through all these resources and you will learn how to really get a grasp of how this works number four phone repair okay so 
pretty much everybody has some kind of smartphone and if you know a little bit about how to fix these phones you can do a cell phone repair business okay there's a great article on toughnickel.com that kinda talks about the things you're gonna need to start a business like this okay how much it's gonna cost um, it's really not very expensive to do this you don't need a uh, lease space or an actual store or anything like that you know you can do this on the side you can start out if you're living in a dorm or an apartment you can start out just taking the stuff home with you fixing it there bringing it back to the customers if you do really well maybe you want to expand and get your own store but you don't need to do that and you can start this relatively cheap so you might want to read this article just kind of get an idea of how you can start a business like this pretty quickly in the next month and just kind of what to expect. Uh, number five is graphic design. So graphic design of course whether it's labels for products, whether it's art for a book, whether it's a cover for a book, whether it's images to be used on a blog, there's all kinds of different graphic design needs from all different businesses. And one place I would definitely recommend you check out for graphic design is Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com is one of the best overall freelancing sites because not only is it affordable, but it has so many different categories and an all-in-one website where all the transactions, all the negotiations, all the payments are all done through this website. And you make your money through PayPal. So it's easy to withdraw to your bank account. It's easy to spend it once you get it. So Fiverr is one of the best places to start graphic design, especially if you're kind of a beginner to it and um, you're not quite ready to take on high-end clients yet. So that's where I would go if you are pretty good at graphic design and want to make a side business out of that. Number six is a DJ service. So whether it's for weddings, whether it's for big birthday parties, whether it's for business events, DJs are always in demand and people who want to have a good time are going to hire DJs. So if you know a little bit about the uh, equipment needed and you might have a hobby doing this type of stuff you love music this could really be a cool side gig for you I've known people that have done pretty well doing this so um, you can do this from home you don't need a location you don't need a physical location for a business like this um, you can read a little bit about it on entrepreneur.com kind of the things they talk about um, some of the equipment you might need um, of course, you don't have to start out as high-end as they recommend, but there are some ways that you can just go through this and just figure out what the long-term plan might look like if you make something out of your brand as a DJ and you start getting pretty popular. There's some questions that are commonly asked that they answer here. Um, and it will just give you a really good idea of what to expect as a DJ and whether or not it would be worth starting. So number seven is stock photography. So if you like taking pictures and things like that, there's actually quite a few great websites where businesses, blogs, websites pay to use the rights of images, whether they use the images for books, products, videos, blog posts. There's a lot of different uses for stock images and of course most of the time to get the best images you have to pay for the rights to get them. And if you're a stock photographer you can sell your images online just by uploading them to your computer to your profiles and you earn royalties. You can get like 50 percent royalties and things like that from just having your images for sale online. So you can go to Shutterstock, iStock Photo, Photo Shelter, just to name a few. And this website um, has a great article. It's called makeuseof.com. You can go there and check out this article called 12 Most Profitable Places to Sell Your Photos Online. 
and it will give you a great idea of some websites you can go to sell your images and of course you can sell the same image on multiple sites so you can make more and more images the more you take and the more you upload the more royalties you can get and you can get paid off these royalties 24 7 because you don't have to actually work just to make the money you just upload the stuff and it can make you each image can make you money for years and years so that's a great way to make some side income number eight is tutoring so of course you have a lot of stuff to learn in college but a lot of people aren't going to be as good at learning as you are they're not going to understand concepts as well as you or they might be taking courses um, as underclassmen that you've taken in the past so tutors are really helpful especially from a student's point of view because you can kind of explain things in terms that they would understand whereas a professor might talk and it sounds like a completely different language to the students I'm sure you have some experience with that so tutoring is a great way for you to make a side income by personally helping people with their work and help them learn the material that they need to learn so there's actually a really good article on the pennyhoarder.com and it's all about how to start a tutoring business this weekend okay it's something that you can do very quickly it gives you a great guide to finding paying clients and creating a plan things like that and why it can work what not to do what to do how to market yourself and things like that so I would recommend you check out this article called start a tutoring business this weekend and how to find paying clients by Kyle Taylor on the penny hoarder.com and it will help you kinda of get jump started as a tutor number nine freelance writing freelance writing is something of course that's always going to be in demand as more and more businesses and websites try to automate things and use artificial intelligence and bots and software to automate as much as they can writing is something that is very hard to automate and it still hasn't really been completely figured out at least by most websites so bloggers people who ghost write for books things like that these types of jobs are always going to be in demand you can become a freelance writer by signing up at a place like Upwork which is one of the biggest freelancing marketplaces on the internet um, to become a freelance writer and sell your services and pick up jobs there this way you can work online completely writing if you're good at writing this is something that you can make a great business out of in Upwork will have tons of clients ready to hire somebody like you if you're qualified so if you want to go here and do that you can just click this button up here it says become a freelancer fill out your profile tell them why they should hire you and then start applying for jobs as they come up on Upwork number 10 personal sports coaching so if you're a pretty good athlete let's say you were a star athlete in high school you may not be a star athlete in college or you might be a star athlete in college or you might just be better than most you might just be above average just to make a college sports team means you're probably above the average person so you can actually tutor and coach personally younger kids that need the uh, extra boost or the extra edge as they grow up trying to make sports teams and become better so if you want to become a personal sports coach um, you can learn a lot from this um, article on entrepreneur.com called sports coaching it's kind of a a part of their idea center they have all kinds of outlooks for business coaches and other businesses but this one is specifically about how sports coaching works kind of the industry that you can um, be a part of what the market is like and things like that you can learn more by looking at some of their other articles on here but um, it's very cheap to start there are franchises that you can do but you probably don't want to worry about that right now if you're still in college um, all you have to do is just meet with people find a gym that you can meet them for basketball find a field that you can meet them for football things like that if you know a lot about a certain sport teach people that are younger than you 
that need that want the extra training and you know teach them in terms they understand make it easy for them and you can get paid a lot some parents are paying as much as seventy five dollars per hour just to um, help their kids get an edge in sports number eleven sell your notes so in college it's pretty much something you have to do you have to take notes you can't just remember everything unless you have a perfect photographic memory and you just happen to be one of those rare people but um, you have to take notes and you have to take good notes otherwise you won't know what you're looking at when you go back over them so if you're good at note taking if you feel like it's a skill that you have you can sell your notes on multiple websites online to people who either blow off taking notes or just aren't good at it at all so they might want higher quality notes or they need notes because they're trying to cram right for an exam so nexusnotes.com is one place where you can actually sell your notes and this is notes for schoolwork so people go here to buy notes people go here to sell notes so what you would want to do is make money by selling your notes for your classes for all your courses and try to make an income from that so if you're good at note taking if you kind of have a really good understanding of how to learn uh, information very well in a very good way that's easy to understand you can really help a lot of students out by selling them your notes number twelve stock music so stock if you're a musician this is something you'll definitely love because not only do you have to be a you don't have to be a famous musician like Taylor Swift or you know Justin Timberlake or something you can actually sell like background music you don't even have to sing or anything you can sell like instrumental music and do it to stock music sites that need it for videos that need it for podcasts that need it for radio shows that need it for all kinds of different programs and to get quality stock music or background music usually you have to pay for it and some of these big companies that actually use stock music have plenty of money to spend on this stuff so there's a site called demoduck.com and they have a list here of eight stock music sites that you can check out that are quality sites that you can upload stock music to and make royalties from it's kinda of like how the stock photography thing works where you upload it you get royalties when people download the rights to use your use your music and uh, they pay for it so the music bed is one there's premium beat there's audio jungle marmoset and some other ones as well but those are some sites you can check out you can check out the full list here and get right on your way to selling your music without having to worry about becoming a big star number thirteen flip stuff on ebay so there's actually been quite a few successful people flipping random stuff on ebay so usually it's it's something they know quite a bit about like if it's phones like if it's uh, vintage fashion you can find stuff at thrift stores and sell it on ebay you can find stuff on craigslist and sell it on ebay i've even seen people sell stuff from amazon to ebay so um, there's a great example of someone who's done this his name is Brian and he created a eBay hobby business on the side while in college and started earning six figures because he got pretty good at it so he was selling cell phones and flipping them you can read the full article here it's part of the nine cool college startups list on inc.com and Brian actually built a very successful business on eBay just flipping mobile phones and things like that so you can kinda of get some ideas from him there's also another one uh, there's someone named Sophia Amoruso who started a company called nastygal.com and she started out with an eBay store flipping vintage clothing got very successful then started her own company and now she's a multi-millionaire so this stuff can really work you can read about those two people's stories there's other ones as well and you can figure out okay what what kind of products do I know a lot about that I can resell for a profit on eBay
Number 14, you can be an Uber or Lyft driver. So taxis are pretty much um, becoming a thing of the past, and Uber and Lyft driving are really starting to take over. Now, whether or not these become all automated driving and they get rid of drivers altogether in the future, I don't know, but that's not going to happen for a while. So you can still take advantage of this while you're still in college. Trust me, when you get out, it's still going to be mostly humans driving these cars. So I would recommend trying out one of these services. Okay, Uber's probably a little bit bigger, and so they might get you the most business. But you just go to uber.com. You can ride with Uber or sign up to drive. There's a form right here on the home page. All you have to do is fill it out and click sign up to drive and of course they check you out if you're good if your car is good you can become a driver and make quite a bit of money doing this and not only can you start a good business as a driver but you can make a business off of referring other drivers so if you can find other people in college on campus or people you know other places to sign up with your referral link you can make money off of their earnings so not only can you recruit people and earn money off of them, you can drive as a driver. So a couple different ways to make quite a bit of money with Uber and Lyft. Number 15, review sites. Um, you can review products and websites and services on a blog, for instance, and link to affiliate links, ads, all kinds of ways to um, monetize this and make money from it but review sites are definitely very um, profitable if you do them right and you know how to get people to see your articles and things like that so if you want to pursue a review site whether you're reviewing software or games or whatever it is you might check out a few online review sites and that are already successful so you can kind of study what they do well what they don't and kind of find a pattern between the top review sites so we have Amazon customer reviews, Angie's List, Choice, Trustpilot, Test Freaks, Witch, Consumer Reports, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Google My Business I mean there's a lot of different types of reviews and um, you can figure out kind of stuff like that where you can check out these types of review sites where people leave reviews or you can make your own blog where you actually um, create reviews just only written by you about software and things like that so whether you want to create a review site where other people can, can leave reviews or you want to do all the reviews yourself it's kinda up to you but um, that's a great way to uh, make a little extra money on the side and actually you can make a lot if you do it well number 16 is Etsy stores so if you're artistic this is something you want to do because there are a lot of different ways to make money off your art so instead of just doing it as a hobby or trying to become an art teacher or something you can actually find ways to sell your art through an Etsy store and Etsy is completely geared towards art and things like that personally made items um, that are custom and things like that they do toys and games weddings craft supplies and tools clothing jewelry home and living you'll find all kinds of paintings you'll find uh, quote images you'll find prints you'll find um, little sculptures and all kinds of decorations and stuff like that on the site and you can create your own store kinda of like how you'd create an eBay store except this is all geared towards art so only people looking for art come here so it's a lot more qualified if you're an artist than it would be if you tried to do it on eBay so I would definitely create an Etsy store if you're artistic and you feel like you want to make a little extra money you can sell stuff by printing it off for people you can do sculptures or you can even upload your designs that you create by scanning them through the computer and having people pay to download them. So there's a lot of different ways to actually sell your work. Number 17 is cleaning services. So everybody needs to clean their homes one way or the other whether they 
do it themselves, which takes a lot of time and effort, or whether they hire some people to do it. So you can be the people they hire, and this is something that you can start on the side. You don't need a lot of experience. I mean, everybody knows how to clean, basically. It's just a matter of whether people really want to take the time to do it themselves or not. And a lot of wealthy people won't. So the good thing is you can make quite a bit of money doing this because your clients are going to mostly be fairly wealthy. And if you do a good job, they'll refer you to other people and you can create a great business out of it. And of course you can market it online. But uh, you might make your own website for yourself, maybe set up a Google business page or something but here's a few things you might want to uh, keep in mind that you might want to have things like toilet brushes brooms cleaning cloths mops just a few tools that you might want to have on hand if you want to start a business like this so check this out it's at uh, pagespersonalcleaning.net and it gives you just a list of some of the supplies you're going to probably need if you want to start a cleaning service. Number 18 is transcription services. So transcription services are easy to do because all you have to do is listen to audio and put it in text. So all you have to do is type out what you hear word for word exactly. People need transcriptions for blog posts, for um, journalism for quoting and things like that they need them for all different things but you can go to a place like transcribeme.com and actually become a transcriptionist without having to start your own um, website or your own profile on a freelance site you can actually go to a place that will actually allow you to get started doing this type of work right away without having to build your own brand first which can take a long time so you can try doing transcribing for people and you don't need any kind of experience or any kind of special skills. All you have to do is just listen to audio. Uh, whenever you have time to work, you can just do that and do some transcriptions for people, get paid, and there you go. That's pretty much straightforward. That's pretty much how it works. So if you get good at it, you might even branch off and create your own site, your own brand things like that but you can get started on a place like transcribe me um, or even Fiverr and just kinda get your foot in the door and get your first few clients so if you got something from this video if you feel like you learned about some cool business ideas that you didn't know about or some resources that you um, didn't know about like the video and subscribe so I can make more videos like this for you um, if you think I should have mentioned some other ideas that I didn't or you want to just let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and if you want to contact me directly if you want to get more in-depth blog posts on different types of businesses how to start them um, more ideas that I haven't mentioned yet uh, you can go to selfmadesuccess.com other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day Number 18 is transcription services. So transcription services are easy to do because all you have to do is listen to audio and put it in text. So all you have to do is type out what you hear word for word exactly. People need transcriptions for blog posts, for um, journalism, for quoting and things like that they need them for all different things but you can go to a place like transcribeme.com and actually become a transcriptionist without having to start your own um, website or your own profile on a freelance site you can actually go to a place that will actually allow you to get started doing this type of work right away without having to build your own brand first which can take a long time so you can try doing transcribing for people and you don't need any kind of experience or any kind of special skills. All you have to do is just listen to audio. Uh, whenever you have time to work, you can just do that and do some transcriptions for people, get paid, and there you go. That's 
pretty much straightforward that's pretty much how it works so if you get good at it you might even branch off and create your own site your own brand things like that but you can get started on a place like transcribe me um, or even Fiverr and just kinda get your foot in the door and get your first few clients so if you got something from this video if you feel like you learned about some cool business ideas that you didn't know about or some resources that you um, didn't know about like the video and subscribe so I can make more videos like this for you um, if you think I should have mentioned some other ideas that I didn't or you want to just let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and if you want to contact me directly if you want to get more in-depth blog posts on different types of businesses how to start them um, more ideas that I haven't mentioned yet uh, you can go to selfmadesuccess.com other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day